What is up, guys? We are back in the Kishteen. Hopefully by now you've learned a bit of Irish. But today I am back with a new recipe, and it's gonna be a breakfast roll or a hoagie if you're American. Okay? We all love breakfast and we all love rolls. So let's combine the two and make one hell of a macro-friendly rated GAF meal. Let's go. So what you're gonna need for this hoagie or roll is gonna be some eggs. Regular eggs, shout out to Little for the best eggs on the planet. Some mlijeko. For those of you who don't speak Croatian, that's milk in Croatian. Deli meat, me and my deli meat. This is chicken, my favorite. Or you can go for turkey or ham, anything that's relatively lean. Some low fat cheese. Once again, shout out to Little. Finally. The hoagie itself. Now, ideally, this would be a whole grain one to get all those fiber gains in, but I couldn't find a whole grain one, so we're gonna go with a white one today. Does that mean I'm gonna get diabetes? Maybe. Now, most likely, most of you guys out there are tracking your macros, and you're probably going insane at the moment. You're like, Scott, I need to make this hoagie fit my macros. How many grams of everything do we need? How much? How much? Let's get to that. So, Hi, hello. Ingredients, please. Perfetto. Now, let's weigh these out, okay? Molto bene. Okay, so you have 110 grams of your deli meat. Then you have 25 grams of your cheese, okay? And finally, you have one whole egg and one egg white, okay? These are the grams you need for this meal, okay? And what you will be tracking in my fitness pal. So, let's go to the next step. Step numero uno, prepare this hoagie. So, let's slice it down the middle, like that. Perfect. Now, this step is crucial. Get the sides, and I want you to sort of peel it back and open it up. But make sure the ends stay intact and that you don't completely slice it, okay? So, I just want you to flatten it out. Perfetto! Right, so the next step is another important one. You may have seen we didn't weigh out any milk, and this is why. To your eggs, to add that little bit of extra texture, add a smidgen, a smidgen! Ah, ah, ah. Just that much, that much to your eggs, just to make them that little bit creamier, because we are gonna go and scramble these now. Now, when I mean scramble, I just mean going to the microwave and putting... Well, that's clear enough for me. But, put them in the microwave and scramble them. But before we do, we have to whip them. Get a fork. Start whipping them, baby. Ugh. Perfect. Let's go put them in the microwave. Now, we are gonna put them on very low heat. Power five. And just get them going. And I want you to keep your eyes on them. Keep your eyes on them. <laughs> Until they come out perfectly, perfectly creamy for this hoagie. Perfect! Look at the fluffiness, look at it, and admire it, respect it. Now, from here, I want you to get your deli meat, put it in to your eggs. Perfect! Now, get your knife and mix it all around. Perfect! So what you have now is the egg infused with all the turkey. Next, get that there hoagie of yours. Perfecto! Then get that there turkey and egg mix of yours. Molto perfecto! If you've done higher maths, if you've done higher English, you have the qualifications to guess what is going on here! Put this into your hoagie. Ready? Oh, sweet mother of- Look at it! Respect it! Oh. Even better news, we're not finished! We get to put the cheese on it! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, baby. But we're still not done, guys! We're gonna put this in that grill over there to crisp up the cheese. Make it all juicy. Juicy Lucy! Ah! Perfect. We got the grill going. So lay the tray with some tin foil. Get your hoagie. We good to go, guys! Pop it in and keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't burn. A few moments later. Oh my god. I don't think you're ready for this. Oh my god. Take it out. That is it! The breakfast hoagie for the gains! Coming in at 61 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, and 15 grams of fat, okay? Fairly macro-friendly, I mean, anyone can fit that in. So damn good. So guys, 
try out the recipe and let me know whether you like it or not. But for today's video, that's all we have. I don't have any more recipes for you. But if you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, share the video, I'll come at you with a lot more. So for today, that's it. See you later.